Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about lens cleaning. So if you don't know, I sure hope you do, but if you don't know, there's a lens inside that laser head that needs frequent cleaning. So let's talk about how to do that today. Now this is a 60 watt ohm tech laser, that's what I own, and we're going to talk about how to clean the lens. The lens is located uh, right in this part, the cone part of my laser. Yours may be slightly different. Um, so you're going to have to have a little bit of knowledge on how your machine is set up, but uh, these are kind of your first steps. So first thing we need to do, this is the air assist tube. If you push this little blue part down, that uh, will release the tube. So you're just going to pull that out. Now on mine, I need to rotate this down a little bit so that it can freely spin. But once I have that rotated down, then I'm going to hold this part and then just spin this toward me. And then again, this needs to be rotated down a little bit on mine because the, uh, the red laser is right back here. So where my finger is, you can maybe just uh, kind of see the red back there. Uh, if I don't, if I leave this up like this, it's not going to rotate because it hits on that laser. So I rotate it down a little bit and then that allows me to spin this completely until it's off. So there, that is the lens inside of the cone. So the next step is to get the lens out of that and then we're going to give it a gentle cleaning. Okay, so now that we have the cone off, I'm going to unscrew this silver portion. And then this is the reason I have this uh, cloth down here is so, and then I can just dump that out. So remember, this is going to go on top of the lens and then here is the lens itself. So uh, my lens is actually pretty clean. I haven't been using it all too much, which is pretty crazy considering this is the period of time that most of you are very busy in the laser world, but that is what we have. Now, a couple things that we're going to use for cleaning. First and most important is 99% isopropyl alcohol. So you don't want anything, if you get something that's not 99%, then a lot of times, uh, especially if you get the stuff you know, that you'd find at the grocery store or Walmart that's like 91% or less, it may have all sorts of other ingredients in there. You don't want those getting on your lens or it's got water in there and that's going to evaporate and leave a film. So Q-tip, isopropyl alcohol, just a gentle brushing here to get anything off of it. I'm going to make sure I get both sides. If it were really dirty, I'd flip over my Q-tip. But like I said, this lens is pretty clean. So that is pretty much it as far as cleaning the lens. Now a couple things to note. One, obviously you don't want to touch the lens uh, afterward. Um, when I first got my laser, I'm a photographer, so I'm used to cleaning lenses. I got a bunch of lens tissue and I found out right after I bought a ton, like I bought like a thousand sheets of lens tissue because I figured I could use it to clean the lenses and mirrors all the time. Um, and then I saw a post from the owner of American Photonics, who a lot of you probably buy their, uh, their products. Uh, so do not use lens tissues because these lenses have a coating. It's a very soft chemical coating and that lens tissue will scratch it away. So they recommend 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip or I believe acetone. Uh, so take that as some knowledge. Now, when you go to put this back together, we're going to see, I don't know if you can see this, maybe if I set it down like this. There is a proper way to do this and a not so proper way to do this. Now the lens itself is convex, okay? So right now this side is curved. The side that I'm holding toward the camera actually has a curvature to it, curves upward. It's like a dome. The bottom side is 
flat. Yes, it is flat. So the proper way to put this in back in the cone is to have that curve side up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop that right back in there with the curve side up. I did not want to go in. Drop it in there with the curve side up. Now a lot of times people will say like look in there and see if you can see your face. Because of the curvature, think like funhouse mirror, if you look in there you will see your entire face. It's tiny or it's smaller in there. If you have it in the other way you won't see your entire face because you're only going to get a portion of your reflection. So curve side up, then this little spacer ring goes in that just keeps the metal off of the lens. This ring goes back on. Now we have that in. I'm going to see. So obviously I don't think you can see the whole the whole camera uh, in there but curve side up. That's what we should be seeing. So that is how let's get that see if that'll focus. There we go. That's how that should look once we got it uh, put back together and then we are going to reinstall. Alright now it's going to go on just the same or the opposite way that it went on. So now instead of pull, put, or turning this toward you, now we're going to turn that away from you. Again we want that little elbow bracket uh, to be bent down a little bit so that it doesn't hit the laser, the little focusing laser. And there we go. Once that's in, now I can tilt this back up. And all you got to do, I'm going to turn this, all you got to do to reconnect your air hose is just push it in there until it stops. And then I'm going to turn that until it's all the way back. Now once you've done this, you should probably, uh, the next time you go to use the laser, readjust um, your focusing dot here because it probably bumped it out of, uh, out of shape a little bit and now um, it may not be perfectly aligned. Let's move on to cleaning the mirrors. So, in reverse order, the way the, the mirrors that you're going to see, this is mirror number three. It's in that hole right there in the center of the screen. That is where the, the laser beam enters and gets bounced straight down the tube through the lens out to whatever it is that you're cutting or engraving. So that's mirror number three. If we come over here to the end of your gantry right there, that is mirror number two and then in a second here we'll take a look at mirror number one. Okay now that I've squeezed myself behind my laser this is mirror number one and then many people don't realize it but there is another mirror that's actually inside your laser tube. You do want to periodically clean that one as well and I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. All right now this, the very last lens, it's, it's, it's a mirror, not a lens. Uh, there is a mirror right here at the end, the output end of your laser tube. Uh, it's, I believe they, it's a 99% reflective lens. So basically without getting into a ton of laser theory, uh, when the photons start bouncing back and forth in this tube, they get excited um, and then this there's another mirror at the other end of the tube that you don't have access to that's 100% reflective and once the, uh, the photons get to a certain energy level they're able to pass through that last 1% or the missing you know 1% of that lens and that comes out the tube. So there is a, uh, there is a mirror um, or you know it's kind of the backside of a mirror but again it could get caked in soot so you do want to clean that uh, occasionally as well. Okay so to clean this lens in the tube I usually will just bend a q-tip here. Again I've got my 99 percent isopropyl alcohol on there and I'm just going to give this a very gentle cleaning just to make sure that we've got rid of any kind of soot or buildup that's on there. So you can see there's not a lot of distance between 
the uh, end of the laser tube and this one here it, that is the housing for mirror number one so let's clean that next so fresh q-tip with the alcohol on it and we're just going to give that a nice little cleaning as well and that should be good to go all right and here we can see mirror number two and again we're just going to give that a nice little cleaning and with the light I can see we're gonna need to do a maybe a little better job on this guy so we we'll grab a clean q-tip There we go. So I can see I've got a little bit of a spot there in the middle, probably where my laser's hitting and I've burned some soot on. So I may need to consider replacing this mirror in the not too distant future. And then not last but not least, there's mirror number three. So again, we're just gonna come in here, give this one a nice little cleaning as well. And there we go. All right, folks, hopefully you learned a little something today, uh, something about the routine maintenance of your laser. You know, you should do this once a week, especially if you're cutting things that are really dirty or sooty. Um, I'd recommend doing it more often, especially, uh, you know, anything that produces a lot of smoke, wood, um, or even that powder coat on tumblers can, can really impact uh, this the lens that's in this cone. But uh, as always, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button, maybe hit that like button, ring the bell, uh, then you'll know when I drop new videos onto the channel and heck, maybe one day YouTube will throw me a couple bucks for doing all of this. But uh, you know, let's just keep on uh, learning together and burning together. So take care folks and I'll see you again soon.